A jackknife semi carrying cookie dough caused a traffic nightmare this morning, but it was the response by Caltrans that had some drivers fuming. Here's a look at the gridlock. Our crews noticed it took over two hours to expand this carpool lane on the southbound 15 near the 56 from two to three lanes. So we sent our 10 News troubleshooter Kristen Severance to find out what caused that delay. I went straight to Caltrans to ask them why it took more than two hours to turn this fast track lane from two to three lanes. Brent Black spent his morning commute in this gridlock traffic. Called my business partner, let him know I was going to be late, and now I'm getting a second cup of coffee because I finished mine on the freeway. This semi truck jackknifed on the 15, causing a chain reaction with two other cars. It added more than an hour and a half to Van Wynn's commute. He said drivers were enraged. It's crazy. People flip me off. People cutting you off. Caltrans called in the zipper to expand the carpool lane from two to three lanes. The equipment is used to move the concrete barriers on the interstate. I wish they would have done that earlier and the traffic would have been a little less. A Caltrans spokesman said the accident happened at five. Crews were moving 40 minutes later and the first barrier was moved at 630. So then why did it take an hour and a half for the zipper to start doing its job? So the, uh, in terms of the timing, 520, we got the call. 5.40, everyone was notified. 6 o'clock, our crews are out there prepping the vehicle. 6.35, they're moving. So you're talking about just over an hour in response time. The equipment is touted by officials as a way to alleviate congestion. Caltrans has three movable barrier machines along I-15 that cost $1.25 million each. Team 10 learned it was used four times in 2013. This is the only time the zipper has been deployed by Caltrans this year. Caltrans said they would not have done anything differently with this accident. There's no uh, one size fit all until when we go on deploy. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. Team 10 asked Caltrans why they've only used the zipper once in the first five months of this year. The agency told us the zipper is there just in case of a major crash, and there hasn't been a need for it before today.